Welcome, everyone, to Logan, Utah, and the Beehive State. We're here at Maverick Stadium, home to the Utah State Aggies, and eager for this clash. Today, we're set for a clash between these two rivals from the Mountain West. As we'll see, the UNLV Rebels taking on a squad hoping to prevent another L this week, the Utah State Aggies. 48 Sports College Football, Reese Davis with you alongside David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. And guys, can't wait to get this one started. will get us underway with the opening kickoff. Here's the return from inside his tent. And he did a good job bobbing and weaving and finding a little bit of running room on that return. So the Utah State Aggies offense will start this game off. And this wide receiver, he's the linchpin to the offense. They want to make sure they find a multitude of ways to get him the football. And it's a risk-reward scenario on defense when you're trying to cover this guy, Reese, because you play man coverage, you're risking running by you and catching deep balls, you play too much zone, and then he can hurt you after the catch. A lot of different ways that this guy is very dangerous. And he can't escape, and down he goes. When it's a play-action pass, that quarterback, he really has to sell the fake. He can't tell his offensive lineman's getting beat right away while he's selling the fake. He had no shot. They come to the line, facing third and long from the 25. Looking downfield, and he needs a bunch. And here comes the pressure, and there he goes down again. Man, you talk all week about setting the tone, quieting this crowd. Don't let him get involved. You know how you do that? Get a sack and force a punt on the first possession of the football game. That's a heck of a start for this defense. Utah State will be forced to send out the punt team. Three and out, they got stuck in reverse. They hope the punt can bail them out. He'll feel the punt and take it back. That's a perfect example of not settling for a fair catch. Pick up whatever yardage you can and help out the offense. So the UNLV Rebels offense will go to work for the first time today. As we take a look at our impact players for this one, what are you looking for, Jesse, for a guy to make an impact? Well, these are simply put the leaders of this football team, and generally games go how these guys play. If they make plays, they've got a shot to win this one. No doubt. they got to show up. These are the team leaders. These guys have to play well if they're going to win the football game. With the catch, it's Thomas. And the defense able to drag him down, but not before. They'll recycle that down marker. Now they've moved it just inside the 40. First and 10 from the 39. And that defense doesn't allow a cutback, and they get him out of bounds after a short game. After picking up a couple at second and eight. Try to get the edge with a quick touch pass. And he is stopped immediately by the big defensive lineman. A third and long coming up here. Motion from the offense. On third and long, he's going to have to throw for it. Pressure coming. Going to try to get it himself. And he couldn't find quite enough running room to reach the line to gain. They'll play it safe and try for three. And this field goal attempt will be a 48-yarder and not straight on from the left side. It is good! And that'll put the first points of the game on the board. It's 3 to nothing. They were able to get a field goal on the board, and now they'll kick it away. On the run from inside his own five. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. Utah State sending its offense back onto the field. 
Last time, David, it was one, two, three, kick. The last drive, that three and out, sometimes that puts your defense in a bad spot, and you got to get a drive together here so you don't wear the defense out. I just think, David, too predictable, that last drive. they got to do something here to get this defense on their heels. They'll go back to the ground. And he'll move his way forward to the first down. They'll mark it at the 35. Utah State, up-tempo. All right, well, look, I know the defense was feeling real good about their run D coming into this one and how they've been playing up to this point, but finally, David, the offense breaks through and they finally generate something positive on the ground. And I can't... Going deep! And the pass is intercepted! Looking for more room! And they'll drag him down after a good return on the interception. Most defenses are lucky if you have one good cover and corner. Fewer are lucky if you have two. They've got three DBs, three corners that can play at the same time in their nickel package that they feel can go mano a mano with anyone in the country. And you saw it on that last play coming away with the pick. The UNLV offense ready to return to the field. They've got the lead here. Last time they settled for a field goal, but David got to find that balance between being aggressive and careful. And I think they'll take that. I got the lead, Palmer. I got the football. I got to take care of the football, put a nice drive together, and just get some kind of points on this drive. No doubt. Lots to be happy about right now if you're this team. I think for this one, though, on this drive, it's about finding the one-on-one -on -one matchups that are in your favor and then exploiting them. And he runs through one tackle and picks up a few. Good spot after that seven-yard pickup on first down. It's second and three. Back to pass. It's O'Neal. Back open in the middle. And they knock him down, but he got past the line of the game. And the Rebels will snap it on first and ten. Looking to move it through the air. Trying to make magic on the scramble. And he gets out of there and gets some yardage and gets down without taking any punishment. They've moved it to the 19, first and 10. Fast motion from the offense. Touch pass on the run. Smashes through. That's what you expect from a senior. Don't give them any extra yards. Great tackle there. Dialing up a second down pass play. Coming after it. Quarterback all over the place trying to make a play, but eventually he goes down. Well, that's not Lamar Jackson back there scrambling around. This is a guy the defense felt like if we can get him out of the pocket and flush him, we can get after him and chase him, bring him down. And they did that one pretty easy there, getting the sack. I'm not positive, but that first down marker might be in the next county. On third and long, he's going to have to turn one loose downfield. And good hands there by the defense on that shot to the end zone. And they'll send out the field goal unit. And this kicker might be feeling it. He made one earlier, now from 49 yards out. Field goal is good. That makes the score. UNLV, six. Utah State, zero. So they were able to put up a three spot on that last drive, and now the kickoff team out there as they prepare to put boot to leather. He'll start the return inside his five. And he's able to pick his way through the traffic nicely for a good return on that one before he's brought down. From the gun, the running back has it. And how about the efficiency on that one? It'll bring up second and four. Utah State, up tempo. He'll keep it himself. And they'll spot it at the 45. That's good enough for a first down. Offense, quick tempo.
looking to go up top on first down. Oh, he's going to try to get it all here. He's got it downfield for a huge game. And he eluded the defense, and he'll take it all the way. Touchdown, Aggie. Number nine. The quarterback's ability to read the field is huge, and also the anticipation, the time to be able to throw the football, Jesse, and hit a guy in stride so he can get run after the catch and get in the end zone. That was a nice job by the quarterback. Yeah, it's critical, David. Listen, a lot of times, touchdown passes aren't thrown into the end zone. You've got to read the coverage, hit the open guy, and let him do the rest. Is on for the extra point. And the extra point puts them on top by one. We check in with Kevin Connors. What's going on, Kevin? Guys, let's take a look at what's happening in a great college football matchup. Notre Dame is trailing right now, but they are not out of this. I remember Rocket Ismail wake up the echoes all by himself. Let's see if this group can come back. They're trailing by just four to Stanford. We'll circle back if anything changes in this exciting college football matchup. And how about that one? Kevin will be keeping an eye on everything going on elsewhere. Right back to the well. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. They're going to keep this drive going. They'll have to make a play on third and long from the 26. Getting some heat. He'll pull it down. And he scoops his way to the first down and then slides to avoid the hit. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. Looking for space. It's Thomas. Able to scrounge three yards out of that one somehow in second and seven. Went to the running game on first down. Now here they come again. The give to the tailback. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. They line up with some serious work to do if they want to convert this one. On third and long, he has to throw for it. Feeling some heat. And here's a fumble way behind the line. Defense coming up with a huge fumble recovery. And he's brought down, and his defense gets the ball back for its own. And that is exactly how you draw it up. You get to the quarterback, but you get the football out. You hit him, you try to rank it out. Great job by the defense. Get the sack, get the fumble. Boy, this is just the type of field position this offense wants. They'll keep it on the ground to the right. And they try the middle of this stout defense, and they rise to the challenge. Time winding down in the quarter as they come to the line. From the gun, running back on the move. They make the stop, and that'll bring the first quarter to a close. The quarter comes to a close. Utah State has the lead. We put one in the books. Let's have a look at our game summary. They've swapped ends of the field, and we're ready to go in the second. Third down conversions are a huge stat, and this one would be a doozy if they can pull it off. He'll pull it on the read. And sure, tackling there to keep him from getting to the first down marker. And the field goal unit is on the field. And he'll try this one from the left hash and 33 yards away. It's good. He hit that one right down the middle. Well, sudden change situation. You've got to give this defense credit. Their offense just turned it over. They held tight. They didn't allow a touchdown. They forced their opponent to take a field goal. Nice job. So they're lining up to kick it off after that last drive. Put a three spot on the board, and now the defense will try to shut them down. Looking for an alley from inside his own 10. Able to find enough room to get it out across the 25. He's brought down at the 26. Guys, the running Rebels offense ready to go back to work. Looking for a physical attack from the gun. Picks up a useful five-yard chunk after the 30-yard line. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. Off the play fake. 
He lost it high and deep down the left side. It's complete. A huge pickup. The Rebels are in the hurry up. And the quarterback knew exactly where he wanted to go with the football. Had time. Spins the ball deep. Nice job by this offense. Understanding what the defense has given them and creating the explosive play. They pick up half of it. It'll be second and five. Got a little work done on first down. Now back to the line. Back to throw. It's O'Neal. Finds his target down the middle. He almost picked up the first down on that one, but he'll be just a little bit short. They probably feel good about their field goal chances from the 29, but they'd love to convert this third and short. Quarterback on the keeper. Offenses gain momentum with third down conversions like that. They've got it at the 25. And the Rebels are moving quickly down the field. It's a reverse. He's knocked down in the backfield, a swarming defense, and he'll lose seven. Sixth play of the drive coming up. On second down, looking again to throw. Good timing on the quick out. And he goes out of bounds after a nice pickup on that one. Balls at the 24, a lot of confidence in their kicker from here, but they'd love to take it off of his foot and convert the first down. They're trying to get to him. And he was winding his way all over the backfield, staying alive, staying alive, and finally he goes down. And they've been waiting for something good to happen with respect to getting after the quarterback, right? They're outside of the top 100 in the country in sacks per game, but finally now you see they're generating this pass rush. Three sacks on the game so far. And here comes the field goal unit. This kicker has already made a couple today. He's got it. Showing off that big leg from 47 yards out. That makes the score. Utah State, 10. UNLV, 9. After putting three on the board, the kickoff unit ready to go. Fielded in the end zone. It's Bowman. Pulled down at the 18, and the decision to bring it out of the end zone was not a good one. Utah State has it back, ready to go to work on offense. They kicked a field goal on the last drive, Jesse. They've got the lead. Don't make a dumb mistake but maintain your aggressive play calling. Yeah, no doubt. I think it's the play caller right now just taking a look at that script he's got in front of him and finding out where are my playmakers, who can we take advantage of on this defense to get a touchdown here, David. Yeah, and just keep moving the ball down the field. Just execute a little bit better in the red zone. There's no need to panic. We're moving the football, and we got the lead. Trying to move the sticks on third down through the air. And they get to the quarterback and knock him down back at the 16. And that is a great job by the defense, containing and constricting the pocket. There was nowhere for the QB to go, and he did not have a lot of time. He went down quick. Utah State will be forced to send out the punt team. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. And goes into the air for the fair catch, and the catch is made around the 40. UNLV ready to go back to work on offense. Guys, that last trip a little disappointing having to take the three. Yeah, I think, Jesse, you see so many offenses talk about getting yards and the tempo and all the stuff they do. It was a nice job moving the football, but they got to get the end zone this time. Yeah, and I think to do that, they just got to be more physical at the point of attack, get some push up front. They need to be the best running team in this game to win. And he'll find enough running room to get it just short of midfield at the 49. On third and short, they'll go to the power running game. Good pick up there. They'll move the chains in their setup at the 41. The Rebels have it with a first and 10. Use the play fake. Now to throw. Makes the catch. It's Thomas. 
He's brought down quickly. Minimal gain there. Still a bit short of the first down. Give to the running back. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. They're facing a third down. Dropping back, it's O'Neal. He'll take a shot. And he got a hand on it to knock it down in the end zone. His field goal unit getting some serious run. They've already been out there three times. A kicker will try it again. And that is no good. And guys, not only a miss, but a missed opportunity to take the lead. Guys, the Utah State offense about to give it another go. They'll have another opportunity to extend this lead after punting last time, David. And it's important to put that punt behind you. It's, it's over. Let it go. Get back to what you were doing that built this lead. Yeah, and defense, obviously, they won a few downs uh, that last drive. So we got to put them on their heels here. Maybe mix up a few personnel groupings and try to show them some pictures they haven't seen yet. in the pocket and fires over the middle. And a dangerous pass there, almost threw a pick in the end zone. Here comes the offense on second down. Give to the back. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Now facing a third and long. From the gun, wants to pass. Pocket starts to collapse. And that pressure just engulfed him. A sack for this defense. Defensive linemen live to get after the quarterback, to get sacks, to get by those big hog mollies up front on the offensive line and say, you taste dirt. Utah State will be forced to send out the punt team. He'll try to really get into this one. Wants to return it. And the coverage team able to wrestle him down. The UNLV offense ready to return to the field. From the shotgun, the inside give. Crosses the 30 to the 31 and a six-yard pickup. The clock has reached the two-minute mark, and they have a chance to at least cut into this lead before the break. Looking to throw, it's O'Neal. Finds his big tight end. Really confident throw and catch there. Big pickup, and they have a first down. Whatever the fastest tempo they have is, that's what they'll use. Trying to find his man on first down. Fires left. And it just squirted through his hands. He wanted to take off and got too anxious. After the misfire, it's second down. He's looking to throw. Grabbed in the middle, it's Thompson. A nice job by the QB there, timing out that drag throw. It's zone coverage, so he's got to make sure he gets it to his receiver in a window to allow him to catch the ball and then turn it upfield. Trying to get to it. And they couldn't hold off the heat, and he goes down with the sack. Quick timeout by the defense here, trying to make sure everyone has the same call. And the Rebels will try to pin them back with the punt. The punter going to get his first work of the afternoon. And the punt hits at the six, and they can't down it, and it'll be a touchback. On first down, here comes this offense. They'll start this drive with a pass. Catch in the middle, it's Briggs. He's there to make the stop, but the damage has been done as they pick up the first down on the throw and catch. Well, it's a nice play design there. You're getting the running back involved in the pass game. Quarterback gives it to him early so he can go to work upfield and get the first down.
They'll snap this one from the 32. It's first down. He wants to throw. Looking to the big tight end. It's complete. And he breaks into the open. Ripped off a huge chunk play on that one as he gets the first down before he steps out of bounds. Well, after that last play, you can see how electrifying this guy is and how special he is after he makes the catch. If I'm on offense, I'm trying to find a lot of ways to get him touches in this game. They just changed the dynamic of this possession in a heartbeat, and now it's first and ten from inside the red zone. They're threatening to score, and they'll throw it. Looking to the end zone. And he's got it! Touchdown, Utah State! Man, I just love the execution by this offense. Late in the half, man, you want to take the lead. You want to get that momentum on your side, and they do it. They finish it with the passing game. I'll tell you what, keep that passing game up. You can keep this lead, keep the momentum, and keep putting up numbers. They'll try to add another to their lead. And they kick it through for the extra point, and they have an eight-point lead. Let's go to the studio now and check in with Kevin Connors. Kevin, what do you got? Guys, let's get you up to speed on what's going down in this fun college football game today. UCLA is currently ahead in this one, but unlike the days of Terry Donahue, this has not been a blowout today inside the Rose Bowl. They're up by 10 over Minnesota. We've got our eye on this one and everything else going on throughout the day. Nice. Oh, and how about that? I know Kevin and those guys will be keeping an eye on it for us. Back to throw. It's O'Neal. They're bringing heat. And the pressure gets there. And down he goes at the 18. The defense is going to stop the clock for the timeout. They want to make sure they have everybody on the same page. Leaves it with the running back. And he's not going to make it. The defense denying him the first down. The Rebels will line up to punt it away. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. He'll bring it back. It's Bowman. They'll put a stop to that return at about the 37-yard line. Looking for a productive play on first down. He's going to pass. Trying to burn this defensive back. He's got it on the left. Oh, what a big play for this offense as they get it to the 33-yard line. Everybody lined up, quickly snapped and spiked to stop the clock. Just a few seconds remaining here as they try to put something up before halftime. Got his man. Touchdown, Aggies. What a catch and run for six. No midseason concentration laps here in week seven as they push out that lead. When these offenses get in a the rhythm, they're hard to stop. Already up early, got a short field, take advantage of it too, get another touchdown. This offense is doing whatever they want to do and having a lot of success. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And with the extra point, they move on top by 15. Quick strike offense on that three-play scoring drive. And they finish things off with a scoring toss from the 33. From inside the 15, here's the return. Maybe if he could have eluded just one or two more guys, it would have been a big return, but they'll mark it at the 30. Only seven seconds remaining in the first half. Let's see how they play it here on first and 10. Throws to the wideout. Got it in the middle, it's white. They finally make the stop, but that one will make those halftime stats look a little nicer as we head to the break. That's the end of the second quarter. That means it's time to join Kevin in our halftime update. Guys, you've been calling a lively one from Logan so far. It's been a fun start to this one, and this offense has really been the story. They've opened up a sizable lead, and unless something drastic changes, things might get even more out of hand. A combination of lethal efficiency 
And that offensive line has been the key. They've mauled that defense and also just about broken their will. And with that, let's send it back to our broadcast team at Maverick Stadium. Utah State about to kick it off to open the second half. From inside the 10-yard line, he'll bring it back. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. Guys, the running Rebels offense ready to go back to work. Down two possessions to start this third quarter. They'd love to build some early momentum. You ain't lying, because you only got so many possessions here in the second half, so now you're down. I got to maximize every single one. Put your best plays together. Start this drive off on a good note. Yeah, it starts right here. Obviously, you can't get it all back on this drive, but you can create that momentum. You can create something special and some energy, but it's going to start with this offense here executing at a high level. He'll do it himself. And the Rebels have a first down. No huddle here for the offense. And that's a first down for the offense. Nowhere to run on that one. He loses four on the carry. Good block on that last one. Now it's second and 14. After the run, 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 now to throw. He's got his man. Finally run out of bounds, but he has his offense rolling with a first down. The Rebels will hustle to the line. That was a nice pickup running the drag route and finding that quiet, soft spot in the zone. Yeah, drag route's not... And they got him. He'll get him down for the sack. Well, the defense knew coming into the second half here, they were going to have to crank up the pass rush, right? They've got the lead. They're going to be seeing this quarterback drop back. How can you affect him? You've got to win up front one-on-one -on -one and get home, and they did there on third down. That sack gets this offense behind the chains. It's second down. Out of the gun, the give to the back. Really nice stop there from this senior leader. If every journey begins with a step, this offense needs to step into a third down conversion and then try to turn it into some scores and fast. Pressure coming. That quarterback was doing his best. Houdini escaping in the backfield, but the defense finally gets to it. In the second half, trailing the way they are, they know they're going to have to be able to throw the football to get back into it, but you can't accomplish that if you can't keep your quarterback standing upright give the defense tons of credit getting that sack on third down and the rebels decide Number to punt it away on the return it's bowman he's brought down but a really solid effort to pick up every bit of yardage he could on the punt return utah state sending its offense back onto the field Unloads to the wideout. All kinds of room to throw that one in there. Flying down the left side. And they finally get him stopped, but it's a big throw and catch, and he's down to the five. On first and goal, let's see what Utah State calls. They'll try to get it in with the run. He pushes his way down to the floor as they get closer and closer. See if they can get it done on second and goal. Tries again to get it in. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. That brings us to third and goal from the six after the backwards on the last one. From the gun, wants to pass. Coming after it. And they get to the quarterback and knock him down back at the 16. And that is how it's done. It's go time in the red zone. Third and goal. We need a sack, need a big play. That was a monster sack by the defense. Let's go. And on fourth down, they'll try to put three on the board. After finishing a drive with a field goal earlier, this one will be a 33-yard attempt. And the kicker delivers the three ball to finish off the drive. And that will extend their lead even further. They 
keep pushing that lead out, and the kickoff team's getting some work. From inside his own 10, he'll try to help out their field position. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. They'll give it to the back. Found a little bit of running room, knocked down at the 24 after a pickup of four. After the productive first down play at second and six. The play action fake. Getting some heat. And the pressure gets there. And down he goes at the 18. Well, we've seen this offense struggle early in this game, protecting the quarterback. They went in at halftime, thought they'd made the right adjustments, but it's not looking like it right now. They're still having issues keeping this guy standing up straight. Up front, they're just getting beat across the board. This defense has kept them backed up. Now one more stop, and they can get off the field on third and long. To the air, it's O'Neal. He's going to let one fly down the middle. And this is dropped. Incomplete pass. He had a huge gain in his fingers, and he couldn't hold on. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. He'll bring it back. It's Bowman. The coverage team was down there to corral him. They made the stop, and they'll mark it at the 39. Utah State has it back, ready to go to work on offense. Jesse, they had to kick a field goal the last time they had it. Yeah, and oftentimes early in games, you're just trying to find your rhythm. Some things work, some don't on that first drive, David. It'd be interesting to see what happens here on the second drive. Yeah, you got a feel for the defense now. You understand what they're trying to do, what their game plan is. Now you get to go into phase two of your game plan. And the quarterback is snowed under. Man, I think this quarterback needs to take his offensive line out for dinners more often because they're not protecting him. And it's sometimes it doesn't even look like they're trying. That now the sixth sack of the game for this defense. If they can convert here, that type of play can really give you a shot of momentum. On third and long, he'll need to loosen up that arm. Feeling some heat. Trying to make magic with his feet. And he tried to make something happen with his feet, but they stopped him short, and it'll bring up a fourth down. Utah State will be forced to send out the punt team. He's getting a lot of work. Fourth time he's punted tonight. Good job by the coverage unit to put a stop to that return. UNLV ready to go back to work on offense. That last drive won't go on the highlight reel after ending in a punt. They'd like to be more productive this time, David. And I think this offense has to be a little bit more balanced. Find a little balance between the run, Jesse, and working in that pass. And I think, too, David, it's just going to take a spark. It just takes one play to get this thing picked up and going. And he fired a bullet in, but it's incomplete. Third down, and this offense is already in a world of trouble. They could really use a conversion not to mention multiple scores. The Rebels are stopped, but not before, getting it past the sticks. They'll snap it from the 26 on first down. They'll go to the ground. And that's a very productive first down play in bringing up second and three. From the shotgun, the handoff to the back. That's what you expect from a senior. Give them any extra yards. Great tackle there. Man down on the play as the officials take a break to let him be checked out. They're about to wear this punter out. He's already been out four times, staring at a fifth if they can't move the chains. It's a game of first downs, and they've got one out to their own 37. And the Rebels are moving quickly down the field. And that's good enough for a first down. Out of the shotgun, they go to the ground. They can rely on this guy to pick up solid yardage when they need it, and he's out to the 43. Six-yard pickup on first down leaves him with second and four. Using his legs, it's Thomas. Sweet cut there. And he's tripped up, but not before picking up the first down. The Rebels come to the line with a fresh set of downs. They're getting this guy lathered up. Good pick up on that play. It'll bring up second and four. Second 
The quarter comes to a close. Utah State has the lead. Let's take a quick look at the national rankings to see how this playoff race is shaping up. As we start the fourth quarter, it'll take a pretty sizable comeback to win this one. Offense gets set for second down. After run, 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 now throw. Makes the grab outside, it's Thompson. He steps out of bounds, but he's got enough for a first down. Play number 10 on this series. Wants to throw on first down. He's right on target. It's so nice as a quarterback when you've got a guy like that working for you in the slot. He has such a good feel to find the open spaces in the defense. Just makes life so much easier for his quarterback. He's got his man across the middle. Put it right on him. Sweet play. Good pick up, and they'll move the chains with the first down. From the red zone, looking for a man. The short hands, it's Thomas. That completion will take it close to the five-yard line. They'll at the six. Going to work on second down in the red zone is still some ground to cover to pick up that first down. On the option, he'll toss it. And he waltzes in for the score. Touchdown, UNLV! Defense has to do a better job with their assignment football trying to slow this option play down. Someone has to account for the dive, the quarterback, and the pitch man. That time they were missing the pitch man outside, and that's why he scored. He'll try to tack on one more. And it's perfect. And for a quick update, let's go to Kevin Connors in the studio. Boys, if it's happening in college football, we've got eyes on it. Check this out. Notre Dame is currently trailing, but this has been a back-and-forth affair. If that quarterback can find a little magic a la Joe Montana, this might not be over yet. It's still a one-score game. They're trailing by eight to Stanford. We'll circle back if anything big happens in this college football matchup. Thanks for the update on that one. Kevin, let us know when it goes final. It's a point in the game, I think, as a coaching staff, where you really challenge your offensive line to go win the football game, right? We've got to lead late. We're going to run the football. And the defense and everybody in the stadium knows that's what's going to happen. Can we run the ball down their throats and impose our will? That's what this offense right now is trying to do. Tackle is the first down. Utah State up tempo. They'll run it to the right. At the 40, there he goes. And this offense is feeling it as they rip off a big chunk of yardage and they've got it on the 22. Those outside runs, if they can get the edge like they do, great job by the right guard, right tackle, getting the edge. And now what does this do? This makes cornerbacks come up and tackle. Safeties come up and tackle. As opposed to linebackers and big defensive players. You and the quarterback bought a little time, but actually bought a lot of time, but not enough time. The defense gets to it. They got more sacks than a grocery store. Goodness gracious, time and time again, getting to the quarterback, getting him on the ground. This defense having their way. They'll try to keep that sack from wrecking this drive here on second and 15. He leaves it with his back. He is going nowhere. Stop at the line of scrimmage. Third and long coming from the 27-yard line. You can make a field goal from here. Just don't take a negative play. He'll try to do it himself. And he is not going to get there as the defense gets him on the ground. So here comes the field goal unit. They've been doing work today. They've already made a couple. He splits the uprights and puts three on the board. And now the lead is even bigger. After 
that last field goal drive, they're set to kick it away. And they thought about a return, then thought better of it. They'll bring it out to the 25. The UNLV offense ready to return to the field. Out of the gun, the inside handoff looking for a crease. Works ahead for a couple, they'll stop him at the 27. Picked up two yards on that last one. They need eight on second down. Looking for a man, it's O'Neal. Fires to the wideout. And the pass is incomplete thanks to a big hit. Third down conversions, always a huge stand. They've got a third and long from the 27. They're he lobs one high down the left side. Oh, and he gets downfield for the big catch. And the tackle is made, but not before. That completion gets them 30-plus. They absolutely had to have that third down to keep any glimmer of hope alive. And defensively, that's exactly what I want. Make you get to third down. The clock is your enemy. Multiple possession lead. That is right where I want this offense. So after the first down run, here's second down. From the gun, the ground game. Once for the tackle. They finally get him on the ground with a big running play. Moves to change for the first down. And the Rebels are marching down the field. A little pre-snap eye candy for the defense. Looking for the end zone. Almost intercepted. They took a shot on first down and just about turned the thing over. Second down coming up. From the gun, they'll try to impose their running game. And they pick up just one. It'll be third and nine. They line up, and it is a long way to the sticks from here. From the shotgun now, here's an inside give. And the defense is swarming to keep him from getting to the first down. Coach has no choice here. The offense has to stay on the field, down multiple possessions this late. Fourth down attempt coming. Pocket starts to collapse. And he sacked a big play on fourth down to stop this drive. And you had to. I mean, the offense had to be aggressive. You're down multiple scores. You needed to make something happen right now. You had to be aggressive. I think you had to go for it on that fourth down. Now, obviously, the game's looking like it might get out of hand. Guys, the Utah State offense about to give it another go. They'll get this drive started from their own 26. Out of the shoot, quick toss to the right. I love an offense that wants to stay aggressive. Even when you've got the lead late in a game like this, right, you still try to find your playmakers and get them the ball in space, and that is exactly what this offense is doing. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. The Aggies moving quickly to the line. From the gun, running back gets the give. It's a game of first downs, and they've got one out to their own 37. And the Aggies come to the line with a new set of downs. Well, they came into this game today knowing that this guy was going to have to leave his mark in this one, tote in the rock, and he's done that. He's come up with some big plays, and he continues to do that here late at a juncture where they've got to continue running it if they're going to win. Really nice stop there from this senior leader. This offense has a second down play. They want that clock to run. Not a whole lot of progress made there on the short clock. They've got some work to do on this third and long from the 40. From the gun, wants to pass. Trying to escape and get it himself. He is brought down the man. What a job to find some running room and move the chains. I tell you what, I love having a quarterback that trusts himself, that knows in a big situation in the fourth quarter he can take off and still take care of the football, get a big first down, continue to put this offense in a good position to succeed.
to the ground with the back. And they're able to shove him to the turf as they stop him for a short game. Time is on their side, and they're going to wind that play clock all the way down. We've reached a two-minute warning in this offense. Quite content just to drain the rest of the time away. They'll run it out of the shotgun. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Quick timeout called by the defense, stopping the clock to save as much time as possible for their offense. On third and long, trying to have a big completion here. Trying to get to him. Defense uses a timeout quickly trying to get that ball back and preserve time for their offense. Utah State will be forced to send out the punt team. They'll look to pin them deep. Catches it cleanly at the 20. He'll get it to about the 25 before they put a stop to the return. First down for the offense. He's looking to throw it. Catch in the middle, it's White. They make the stop right there. Good pickup, it's still short of the first down. Everybody has to be set. They have to get it off. On second down, he'll let it fly. They're bringing heat. He's going to run it. How about that nice run from this junior quarterback? It's a first down. They'll stop the clock to reset the chains. Offense up tempo. And that's good enough for a first down. Use the play fake. Now to throw. He's taking a deep shot late in the game. And it slips through his fingers. Incomplete. That would have been a huge game if he could have held on. And back to the air on second down. Pressure coming. He's in a world of trouble, and down he goes. A catastrophic loss on that play. On third and long, you'll need to push it downfield. Coming after it. A deep throw as the clock winds down. Couldn't quite haul it in. They almost had their first pick here late in the game. On fourth down, trying to find his man. Here's a throw downfield late. It's incomplete, and they desperately needed to keep that drive going, and they couldn't make the connection. And they're just about out of chances. The defense can stop it one more time as the quarterback takes a knee. It has been said that the obstacle is the way, and this obstacle is now back-to-back -back losses. Back-to-back -back hills. Um, it's not the end of the world, though. I still think there's time for this team to figure out what they're going to do, how they're going to finish the season strong. It's not over yet. Two bad weeks. Flush it down the toilet. Refocus the mechanism. We're ready to rock and roll next week. It just needs to be about finding a way to win a game right now. In all likelihood, 99.9% .9 chance the college football playoff now is not a possibility anymore. That's okay. Let's worry about winning a game. Let's go back. Let's watch the film. Let's get back to being who we are so we can get this ship right. That's going to do it for us from here. For Jesse Palmer, David Pollock, I'm Reese Davis, and this has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football.